Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at programming a macro. So we're going to look at a few options that you can do to improve your workflow speed. If you're not sure what macros are, check out previous video in the series. We're now going to look at some MIDI. So here we have something very simple. This is just a piecemeal bit of uh, MIDI with some chords. As ever, a nice simple example to work on. And we're just going to look at a few things which I've found myself doing again and again over the years and found that having a macro for it means I do things much more quickly. So a common thing to have to do with this is, let's say you were working on uh, developing your arrangement or an orchestration, etc. So if we look at this part here, we can see we've just got simple chords. And a really common thing to do to thicken the texture up is to move things up an octave and you can see there I've done it a bit ham-fistedly and it said oh you need to enlarge the part because I was slightly to the left of where I was intending to be etc so that nicely shows you the pitfalls of doing this kind of thing manually um, we're going to be able to do it with just a single keyboard command so unfortunately there isn't a double up an octave or down an octave uh, command by standard, but we are going to put one in. So we're gonna use a macro to do that. So to program a macro, you go to file, key commands, and then show macro. So in this section down the bottom, um, we pretty much use these buttons here. So the first thing we're gonna do is do new macro, and I'm gonna call it duplicate up octave. And there are just four steps to this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select all our notes. We're going to copy them. We're going to paste them back in, but then we're going to move them up the octave. So it's the last step, really, where the uh, the magic happens, as it were. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this section here, we can see where a key has been assigned here, which is useful often for finding things, but also you can search here. So I'm going to search for select all, and there will be thing we're after so that's select all which obviously you probably know is control a so that's going to be the first thing we're going to add as a command to our macro so we click add command and you can see now it appears in the bottom there the next thing we're going to do is copy and we know that it's control c so i'm going to click in there hit control c and you see it says assigned to edit copy we click select to make sure we've got that selected and now we're going to add that as the command now the next one is paste at origin. So in other words, it's pasting it back in where it started from originally. So I'm going to search for the word origin and we can see there paste at origin out V, which is a useful command to know generally. I'm going to add that one in. And finally, this is less obvious. Um, initially it took me a bit of time to find this, but I found it by the, the keyboard shortcut, which is shift and up arrow, which is navigate add up. So that adds it an octave up or moves it up an octave. So that's what we want here. So that's our final command. So we click add command and we've got select all, copy, paste the origin, and then add up. So if we do that now, we're gonna come out of there. Let's make sure we've got this bottom area selected. I'm gonna go to the macros menu, duplicate up octave, and as if by magic, there we go. So that's duplicated that part up an octave. Great. Now, the last thing we want to do, I'm just going to undo that, is add a keyboard shortcut to this. So it makes sense to me to be out shift up because out and drag, as you probably know, creates a copy and shift and up moves it an octave. So combining the two seems logical to me. So we're going to go back to key commands. And now it actually appears in the macro section. So just going to expand that and we can see duplicate up octave. I'm going to put in my key here. So shift out up and we can see it's not assigned to anything. So we're going to press the assign button and that will do that. So now all I need to do in any editor window is hold down shift and out, press up, done. There we go. Makes sense as well to me to do one that's down. So it's going to be exactly the same steps again, just with add down as the last command. So again, show macros, make a new one. So duplicate, oh, caps lock has come on. I've got a bandage on my finger at the moment and it's making typing difficult. 
or typing accurately difficult, certainly. So again, going to search for these via key commands. So select all's first one. Control C is next one. So for copy and then paste origin, which is Alt V. So we'll select that and add that in. And then the last one is add down, oh, which just to be alternative, I'll do that by that. Obviously could have done it by shift and down. So we'll select, oh, excuse me. I select that there and then add that in. So now we've got our duplicate down octave. And here we have that appearing already in the macros. Now, in previous versions of Cubase, these didn't update straight away, so you'd have to come out of key commands and come back in, but this has uh, been improved. Although, I think you probably agree, the rest of the system needs a bit of love because it's it's quite difficult to deal with. They're not that friendly. You can't just drag these about to change the order, etc. So it's one of those things you hope they will update, but it's not a flashy, uh, exciting addition. So those things tend to get left. So I'm going to do this for Alt Shift Down. So Alt Shift Down, again, not assigned to anything. So I'm going to assign that to Duplicate Down Octave. And we literally just do Alt Shift Down. There you go. So now you've got your ability to do that. So that's uh, a first look at programming a macro, which will speed up your workflow. So if you've got something like that, obviously it doesn't have to be the same thing, although I think plenty of people... You know, often want to duplicate things up and down octaves, etc. But this is a first look. In the next video, we're going to look at some other things which will be possibly seem less obvious contenders for macros. So some more interesting MIDI uh, event editing. But for the time being, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please subscribe.